All right, welcome to my it's a Calfight Canning Safe Spot Guide. If you don't have prayer or defense like me, see one defense, 13 prayer. All the other guides say just pray melee, take the hits. Well, if I do that, I'm going to die in instant. So, yeah, we need your basic range. You don't actually need range gear, but I use it to speed up kills. Uh, your archers ring, Robin, what best range gear you can have, basically. Obviously, I haven't done the Avis quest because I can't. Um, your range, you don't need slay, but you're probably going to need 40 combat to get this task in the first place. You can, obviously, your cannonballs and ranging pot, antidote, a rope, and a shanty's pass, obviously. So, yeah, let's go through here now and we'll run to the slay cave. It is optional to bring a stamina or super energy pot, but you don't really need it. But I would suggest saving some run for when you're in the actual dungeon. Oh, someone's already got a rope here. You do actually need a rope every time, but if someone's recently come down here, their rope will still work for you. So that's that's handy, and now that don't don't need this one. Yeah, here he is. Who is this bloke? Why are you can here? Are you that shit? You got a fire? Fuck's sake! Some people, some people. Why would you cannon those ones? It's probably slower, to be honest. Just around this corner, there should be a level one of those level eighty kill fights, which which will attack and poison you. The antidote plus plus lasts like what 10, 15 minutes. Really good. Looks like someone's already in my world. What a cunt. Oh, hey, enough for you. This is why I need run. And in case you're wondering, these are jugs of wine. They heal, I think, 11s. And they, they take your attack down by one, which is irrelevant when you're ranging. Yep, someone's already in my world, so I'm gonna have to hop here. Alright, here we are. Finally got a freaking world. Got absolutely destroyed. Not destroyed. Um. Now, your cannon, you have to set up, I'm trying to think, where was it? Right here, I think. Now, when you finally get a world like I have, you want to walk just here and get ready to tank some hits. That's where you set your cannon up. Cannon up. And you start firing away. Now, you want to stand right here. There will, there will always be one, usually there will be one that gets stuck right here and right here. You obviously want to pot up. So what the, you don't actually, if you don't plan on using range because you, for some reason you don't want to get HP, you can just stand here and let your cannon go out there. But you're going to have to probably tank one hit from this guy when you restock your cannon. There are stages though where, so this one will never get hit by your cannon basically. Unless you want to put it out there, but then you had the possibility of tanking two hits. As you can see, you're already out of ammo. One hit. Are you joking? Why do I have my auto retaliate on? So yeah, you start just slaying away. I'll get my 5% per on. Give him a few specs. And I've got, I forgot to mention, oh, I forgot to mention, didn't I? I've got telegrams because I don't want to, because if you walk to here, see, when you go to fill your thing, if you walk there to collect your things, this one, he'll get, he'll move from behind that rock and he'll go over here and then he'll come into here, which is out of cannon range. So I'd rather use the extra friend GP and get some mage XP and just take the arrows when they start to pile up. It's that easy. And of course I fucking ruined it. The one time I've ruined that. Another another good method to this is bring a Dorgashin crossbow and the, because the bolts are like what two to five GP, I've been using it forever, to be honest. So yeah, they're really cheap. Where ruin arrows they're probably what they're like eighty GPH. 
hey, a scene is really expensive, but compared to the cost of cannonballs, I really don't give, give a fuck on this account. So if you if you ever get a situation like this where they all just happen to die at the same, around the same time, or oh, if I could fucking hit that, it'd be nice. That's when you can go and that's, that's when you should be going restocking your cannon and getting your rune arrows if you can. It's better than using your telegrabs. All right, some important information about when you should loot your arrows or refill your cannon. If there's one here, just southwest of the cannon, where he's walked in there, or there's one just here, you will you will get hit because he will walk out here. He will walk out. All right, I'll show you. See, I walk here. It doesn't see so you can see as he's gone to walk out. So you want if. You want to get your arrows safely, you walk out to there. If you just want to refill your cannon, you don't have to worry about this guy, but you do have to you do have to kill this one. So just follow this, and it should be fine. See, so as you can see right here, you will not get hit. You can st stay here as long as you like because this is a certain situation where they where they all get trapped, and you can just walk back here. And this is a certain this is the best way you don't have to do any fighting because there's none in that spot. But then he'll walk in there obviously. Oh, he just got fucking dropped. This is a good time to refill your cannon because there's none in this little corner here that I talked about and there's none here. So that's the perfect situation. And there is a way you can attack this one. You can walk here but then you see you lure all these down here which is just a nightmare really. So it's not really worth it in my opinion. You just make sure you kill this one that's basically under the cannon, because he's the only one that can hit you when you when you restocking the cannon. Honestly, I found it to be pretty fast. Then it you can do your task in one trip. If you do a few miscooks like me, you're probably going to use a ton of food, but you should be fine as long as you're careful. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my guide, and I'll check the XP. You don't think you guys can actually see, but. Um, I'm getting 50k, 55k range XP an hour, and about 20k slow XP an hour, which is pretty good, considering my levels, which is what, fuck all, I've got 70k total slow XP and 170k total range XP an hour, I stay here for an hour, it's practically a quarter of both my total XPs, so it is a very fast task, if you don't, if you've got money to spend, I'd recommend it. So yeah, let me know if you've found any better methods, because they might actually help me, and other people at the same time.